You're too green! It's unnatural. Hey all you Firebase developers, I'm Jen Person. Welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your burning Firebase questions. Today, I am joined by John Mensing. And uh, John, what do you do here? I'm a product manager on Firebase Cloud Messaging. What is Firebase Cloud Messaging? Firebase Cloud Messaging is the best way for a developer to send messages to their users on Android and iOS and the web. Yeah. It allows you to send notifications, you can send uh, data messages, you can do a combination. Uh, also, it has uh, some features in the Firebase console that allow you to send notifications from the console. And uh, it's just growing all the time. It's massive. We send a lot of messages. Well, our developers send a lot of messages with FCM. That's right. Over 400 billion a day and growing all the time. Wow, that's, uh, that's wild. I'd like to be like every second this many messages get sent, but... Yes, um, I cannot do the mental math not, fast not right enough, now. but right now. someone out there is going to. They're yeah. going to say it's that many. That's a lot. Yeah. So uh, I'd say that the, specifically the reason I wanted to have you on today is because recently we made a big announcement, right? About uh, Google Cloud Messaging. Firebase Cloud Messaging is the new version of Google Cloud Messaging and does everything that Google Cloud Messaging does and more. Right. And so in order to focus more attention and resources on Firebase Cloud Messaging, we have deprecated Google Cloud Messaging, and everyone needs to move over to FCM, that's Firebase Cloud Messaging, uh, over the next year. Right, basically anyone using GCM, uh, welcome to the FCM party. A lot of the features are gonna be very familiar. Again, it has everything that you had for GCM, plus some more. New and improved. Certainly, once we made the announcement, there were some pretty common questions that we saw and we're gonna look at a few of those today. All right, let's talk about Firebase Cloud Messaging. I'm just zeroing, camera coming in. So Don has a great question for us. Don says, I was wondering if anyone knew if the instance ID server API will be affected at all by the deprecation of GCM. We're using this API in our backend to inspect the instance ID token sent to our backend by our iOS and Android apps. We're already using the FCM library in our apps to generate the instance ID tokens. Does Don have anything to worry about? Well, no, Don does not have anything to worry about. And the instance ID server APIs are not going to be in any way affected by the GCM deprecation. So you can continue to use those exactly the way you are using them today. Good news for Don and everyone else who's using FCM. Uh, the instance ID endpoint is really great for checking uh, what topics you're subscribed to and just checking out uh, instance ID tokens as well. So there you go. Keep using it. You ready for another? I am, let's do it. This next question comes to us from Garrett, who wants to know if I have a notification scheduled for today from the dashboard and it's set to go off in a few hours, but the notification status shows in progress, is there any way to still cancel or edit it? Well, Garrett, once the notification goes to the in progress status, unfortunately, that notification is out into the world and into the wild and cannot be canceled at that point. Uh, so. For some of our notifications, uh, especially for those that are sent to a local time zone, a local device time zone, we actually send those out in advance of that local time zone. And then once that local time zone occurs, or once, once the time in that local time zone uh, occurs, then we actually display the notifications. So those notifications end up going out into the world, um, in some cases up to 24 hours before the actual notification is displayed to the user. So after that point, once it shows in progress, there's really no way to edit or cancel it. Uh, however, if you manage to catch your notification in the status which is scheduled, at that point you can still edit or you can still cancel. So as long as the status says scheduled, you can edit or cancel. That's a great question and uh, great for people who are new to the notifications dashboard. I appreciate you asking about it. Nico has a question about the FCM HTTP v1 protocol. So that protocol, our latest version of FCM send, uh, doesn't support device groups or sending messages to multiple tokens using one request. Um, is that functionality simply lagging or is that something that is being deprecated? Well, I've got some good news for Nico. So we are planning to add a multicast feature to the HTTP v1 protocol that um, 
will allow you to send to multiple tokens in a single API request. So that's something that we'll be excited to bring to that new uh, HTTP v1 protocol over the coming months. Uh, in terms of your other uh, multicast type of uh, options, we also have topics which are supported today in the HTTP v1 protocol. And uh, topics are a way that you can send to a group of users with just one single API request. That's something that I'd encourage you to explore as well. Yeah. Uh, so right now, there are options, like you're saying, topics for sending to multiple devices. Um, but keep your eyes peeled for newer options. Also keep in mind, you can still use what is called the legacy FCM API. Um, so if there are some features of that that you don't see in v1, you can use Either you can use a combination of both. Uh, yeah, so you still have the option to do that. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Ask Firebase. And remember, if you have questions, uh, to tag them on social media with the hashtag Ask Firebase. And who knows? Maybe you'll see it on a future episode. And be sure to subscribe to the Firebase channel so you can check out Ask Firebase and other great content such as Firecasts and Meet Firebase and all sorts of cool special things going on. And thank you so much to John for coming on the show and helping me uh, answer people's questions. It was my pleasure. All right. See you next time.